What is up guys, welcome to Sony Gaming. If you want to help support the channel, go ahead and hit those like and subscribe buttons and leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Today we're going to be checking out Laxasia the Complete, which is my absolute favourite boss fight in the Lies of P. This fight takes place at Ascension Bridge, guarding the way towards Simon Manus himself. This fight comes in two phases, and each phase feels like an entirely different boss. At first, Laxasia is heavily armoured, heavily armed, and tanky, but relatively slow and not very mobile. In the second phase, however, it's a very different story. Laxasia sheds her armour and truly embodies the storm, becoming incredibly fast, very mobile, capable of flying and hovering around the arena. Landing hits is incredibly hard, and her attacks are absolutely devastating. So let's take a look at what we're dealing with. At first, Laxasia's attacks are fairly well telegraphed, come in pretty long and predictable combinations, and hit very hard. She can do relatively fast jumping attacks, which deal hefty damage. Be warned that any time Laxasia holds her position after an attack and sparks start to fly, you should keep your distance, as she's about to follow up with an area lightning attack as well. You can't hit Laxasia from behind due to the shield that she wears on her back. However, after some damage, the sides of it can break off. You still can't do much damage from behind, but the sides are now much easier to hit, making things a lot more simple. If Laxasia jumps back and her sword starts sparking, be prepared for a nasty lunge forward, which deals a lot of damage. When the boss takes an aggressive stance and starts repeatedly doing long, sweeping motions, be warned and get very far back. She's about to start an attacking combo of what feels like a hundred brutal hits that will absolutely devastate your health. Laxasia may begin dragging her sword across the floor, leaving a damaging trail of lightning in her wake before a short sweep. Be warned that this trail will shortly explode, dealing huge damage, so be careful not to get caught in this. If you manage to stagger the boss, be warned that she will not be open to a fatal attack immediately. She will first try to sucker punch you with a very nasty frontal slam that has an electric AoE. Let her finish this before trying to get your fatal attack off. Our strategy here, despite the shield, is to hit the boss from the sides. Use an acid grindstone on your weapon and make use of the cadaver body fluid bottles if you have them. If the boss turns her attention to you, keep your distance. She doesn't have any good ranged attacks at this stage and will eventually turn her attention to your summoned shade who will be very useful for this fight. Because of the widespread damage and dangers of close range combat, I found it very useful to make use of long range attacks. The Puppet Ripper is the best weapon in the game for this, as is the Puppet String Legion Arm if it is fully upgraded. In fact, I strongly do recommend a fully upgraded Puppet String for this fight so that you can close in, deal massive damage and then get away without too much danger. Keep hitting the sides, make sure you stay buffed with acid and get away fast when Laxasia begins her nasty combos. That is all that you really need to know for this phase. When you've got the first phase done, Laxasia will shed her armour and become lightning fast. Literally, you're going to be playing it a lot safer now to avoid devastating onslaughts of lightning attacks. When Laxasia hovers in the air, be prepared for lightning balls to start zooming for you. These are fast and can be tricky to dodge, but if you are very good at perfect guards, you can actually send these right back at her for really high damage. Laxasia is often near impossible to track, zooming around you for backstabs and repositioning often. She will perform swift thrusting attacks and long combo slashes with her electrified sword and some attacks can knock you down as well. When the boss begins channeling lightning on the ground, get away from the AoE explosion that will follow and ready yourself. She will begin zooming around, repeatedly closing in to bash you with her shield for absolutely massive damage. Now you can dodge this but it's easier just to hold a block and pray. The final zoom is a fury attack so be careful and get out of range. If you manage to stagger Laxasia, she will do a short run with two nasty swipes of her sword and then cause a lightning explosion before it is possible to perform a fatal attack, so be careful and back away first before you go in for the kill strike. If the boss jumps into the air with a spin, she's about to slam down on you. Dodge at the last second and then dodge sideways again to avoid the shock explosion that follows. Your strategy here is to really use and abuse your summon shade, meaning we'll be wanting the friendship effect on the wish cube. Keep a lot of distance and use your charged heavy attacks only when the boss is at the end of her combos. It's important to play it safe and not get too cocky. Going in to attack too quickly can easily get you blown up by electric fields. The Puppet String is, again, invaluable for this fight for getting in a quick, nasty strike and backing away, all while the boss is in recovery from an attack. 
If you have Fable Charges, then use them. You won't have a huge amount of openings to deal significant damage to Lexasia, but when you do, you should make the most of them and really deal as much damage as possible. As before, you should definitely use Acid for this fight. The boss is weak to it, and applying the damage over time effect can be great in a fight where dealing damage can be risky. As long as you play it careful and don't get greedy with your attacks, you'll have Laxasia down in no time. Now that should be all that you need to know to put Laxasia down for good, but if you're not too confident yet, then just keep watching. I've included a clip of the full fight so that you can see how it is done.
Thanks very much guys, if you enjoyed the video then don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons and leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Take care and as always, have fun!